Australia centurion Simon Katik accuses India of negative tactics in the fourth and final test. Australia centurion Simon Katik accused India of negative tactics in the fourth and final test after his own side's defensive batting on Saturday had marred their chances of forcing a series leveling victory. India's bowlers operated successfully to a packed offside field to restrict the runs. Australia added 166 runs in 85.4 overs at a snail's pace on the third day while losing eight wickets to be bowled out for 355, a first innings deficit of 86 runs. Katik said their batting did not exactly follow their plan. Well, Huss and I were pretty content to try and um, yeah, wait it out and then reap the rewards later in the day. Unfortunately, that didn't happen um, due to both of us getting out. So that, I guess... When that doesn't come off, it doesn't look great. Katik said Australia would now look at keeping their second innings target to 300. The world's top-ranked team has not lost a series since the 2005 Ashes Tour of England. India's speedster Ishan Sharma stood by India's strategy. Uh, I think it's not a negative line. You can't say it's a negative line. You can just see that some balls, may, when the... Uh, Hussey and Kato is playing, they got some edges and it can't go in through the hand. So it's obviously they known as a very attacking team. So if they're known as attacking, so they are trying to do things, but it can't go um, with their favour and all. So it went uh, in our favour. So I think it's very good for us. Michel Hussey hit a resolute 90 after Simon Katik completed his fifth test century before India grabbed three wickets in the second session, third test centurion Michel Clark's dismissal triggering a collapse. India finished with a first innings lead of 86, off-spinner Harbhajan Singh having taken three for 94. Hina Vatanya for ANI.